Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on where and when in the world you are watching this video. Welcome to This is the Week That Was in Virtualization Cloud and EUC, being brought to you by the Virtualization Practice. My name is Tom Howarth. First, the headlines. Cisco descended upon Berlin last week for their annual European event, Cisco Live. Over 15,000 people attended it, making it the biggest attendance for any Cisco event outside of the US. Well done for the 25th year of this event. The merger between Dell and EMC appears to move one step closer today with the announcement that they are going to leap the hurdle of antitrust with the EU. VMware's Evo Rail is dead as it moves into the VCE practice division of EMC, gets a new name called VX Rail. Last week, Cisco landed in Europe in Berlin for Cisco Live Europe. This is the 25th year that Cisco has run this conference and is, so far this one was the largest one ever by Cisco outside of Europe with over 15,000 delegates. The conference strap line was disrupt or be disrupted. So how did the conference match the strap line or are we still waiting for said disruption? At the keynote on the first day, they started with a statement, Cisco have disrupted themselves. They had a vision, they took a twinkle in their eyes and they've turned it into reality. Bold words. And overall, I would agree with that. The bearers fared well this winter. They've come out of a torrid winter, looking stronger, leaner and ready for action. But to be fair, the conference itself was low key. Nothing really came out and slapped you across the face saying, look at me. Yes, they announced a new version, a new next generation firewall, but that's passe. Every year you get a new generation firewall. Yes, they announced updates to their UCS environment again. Every year you get updates to the UCS environment. <clears throat> the messaging was slightly different though. The internet of everything is gone. It's now all about digitization. This makes more logical sense. Internet of everything didn't resonate with many people. It just seemed a silly statement. Digitization, I think would be is a much more sensible message. Okay. One bit of good news in the ongoing saga of the Dell EMC merger between to all the doom and gloom of falling share prices and questions of legality regarding tax issues. It looks like the deal is getting the go-ahead from the EUC, EU regulations regarding antitrust. Also, in other rumours, it looks like Dell are close to offloading their Perot Systems unit as they are currently in a 30-day exclusive negotiation period with Tokyo-based NT&T, which is one of the key providers to providing some revenue to actually put towards the purchase price. Finally, it's time for a little bit of mourning. Evo Rail is dead. Evo Rail, VMware have given up the ghost on Evo Rail, the hardware project that started out was Project Marvin, but all is not lost here. It's not really dead, it's just been kicked out the door and has landed in VCE. So, so exactly when are VCE going to start calling themselves by the new name? We'll see. Maybe one day. Maybe never. The products have been renamed VxRail and VxRack. And logically and operationally this makes a lot more sense. And much more better positioning. It fills a glaring gap in the VCE's product set at the lower end of the entry point market spaces. And to be honest, hardware has never really been VMware's hot point. I think this is a good move and hopefully should actually see some traction for the product because it, to be fair, it was not too, not too tardy. And judging by all the negative press that has been coming out of certain competitors, it's definitely hit a nerve quite hard. Okay, now onto news from our sponsors. CENX's and Anova's service intelligence product has teamed up with Ixia, Mictel and VMware to demonstrate real-time service assurance in the context of lifecycle service orchestration. This is a huge win for Ixia and seriously validates their position. So congratulations to Ixia on this. 
Prelo have launched a new solution that expands elastic, elastic, uh, <coughs> elastic searching by allowing users to automate the analysis of large sets of data to identify anomalous activities and linking behaviours to gain insights from that data and then visualise it. This sounds impressive and as the RSA conference I'm sure that you should go and have a look and see what they can offer you. Amid a 72 year on year growth Puppet Labs have announced two new executive hires to their team. These being Simon Hayes who has joined as SVP of Business and Corporate Development and John Hull who has joined as VP of Product. Simon has a raft of experience gained at the likes of Cisco, Microsoft, Saft, IBM, Fujitsu and joins directly from Citrix where he was VP of Portfolio Strategy and Alliances. John was formerly the Product Manager, sorry, VP of Product at Evernote. Thank you for listening. That was the week that was. As a reminder, if you have any news that you think could be included in this weekly newscast, Please, as normal, send it to news at virtualizationpractice.com. And once again, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>